PSU TV recently spoke with Kevin Thomas, coordinator for the Two Spirits Conference at the Native American Student and Community Center. Kevin spoke to us about the history of Two Spirits. Here is what he had to say. Two Spirit Native Americans, historically, uh, they, and in general, because there were hundreds of different tribes that had hundreds of different belief systems, did not believe in a strict gender binary, that there was just male and female. In today's parlance, um, most people would refer to gay and lesbian uh, or trans, and two spirits were uh, not only of an alternative gender, but also had a social function in the tribe. They were healers, uh, historians, teachers. A two-spirit woman could be a chief or a hunter or a warrior. They played a very important social function in the tribe. Once the Europeans arrived with uh, the missionaries, the Christianity uh, took a dim view of two-spirit behavior, whether it was two men being married or two women being married. Native culture was demonized. Um, two spirits were targeted for extermination, partially because of their sexual behavior and partially because they were a, a strong component of the tribes. And if you were to eliminate them, the tribes could be manipulated much more easily. This is everyone's history. A very obscure history. Most people um, have never heard of two spirit people. The conference is uh, just giving space for two-spirit people to come and speak for themselves um, and to talk about some of the history and talk about some of the contemporary issues. There is a great deal of homophobia that exists within the tribes and uh, that's due to the influence of the missionaries. There are two-spirit societies in many states um, and they gather to educate themselves about their history and re-instill uh, their role in the tribes as part of the healing process to uh, recover from colonialization. For more information, please contact the Native American Student and Community Center. This has been PSU TV, bringing news to you.